hippies welcome back to my channel in today's video I am reviewing a new makeup palette from peachy queen and it is the amethyst palette if you guys are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Christina I love doing makeup reviews makeup tutorials I love just helping you guys out so I just throw in a little bit of things that I'm into I know I just did a video of how I tie-dyed I'm working on a video of how I take care of my house plants so just any type of informative videos or tutorials I love doing so make sure you hit that subscribe button leave me a comment below that you're new and let's be friends I ordered this palette like two months ago no joke and it just came yesterday so I've been really patient waiting for this palette and it was my first time ever trying anything from peachy queen I know she comes out with palettes all the time I never really hear anyone talking about them so I really wanted to try it out for myself and of course I'll let you guys know what I think about it this palette retails for $29.99 you get 16 shadows so on the website it says this is a 16 purple themed eyeshadow palette with mattes shimmers and pressed glitters these colors just spoke to me I love purple eyeshadows I think they're just so beautiful especially on brunettes or people with brown eyes like myself I don't like to keep my videos super long. I kind of aim for under 10 minutes or less. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts, first impressions, and how I did this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my lids, and I'm just using some concealer. Okay, so here is the palette. It has a little sleeve. It has a mirror, which I love palettes that have mirrors. And then these are all the shades. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched a couple of them, not the whole palette, but just to show you guys the pigment. This one is a pressed glitter. It's very pigmented. This pink one was also a pressed glitter. It didn't swatch as good, but it's the same as this one. And then this is one of the shimmer shades. This is also a shimmer. This is a matte and another shimmer. This is amethyst. Whenever I review a makeup palette, I love using the mattes plus a shimmer just so we could get a feel of how the shadows perform. I'm going to start off with this color adventure and I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush and just sweep that all across the lid. This is such a pretty purple. It's like a pastel purple. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Passion and I'm just going to deepen up this outer corner with that color. I'm really surprised how well these are blending. I'm gonna go back in with my original brush I started with and just really buff everything out so it's nice and flawless. To deepen up the outer corner a little bit more, I'm going to take the shade Fantasy. This color is gorgeous, you guys. It's like a pinky, purpley shade, and it's just really bringing out this eyeshadow look. I love this color. Now I'm just going to take that original blending brush we started with for this whole look with no additional product on it, and I'm just going to blend everything out even more. Okay, I'm going to do a cut crease and I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyelid, look up, and then create the shape of the cut crease that I want. Okay, now that our crease is cut, I'm going to go in with a shimmer shade. So there's a lot of shimmers. Some look like a pressed pigment. I'm going to swatch it first on my finger just to see the consistency. Shade power. Ooh. My finger just dug into it like butter. Power is really pretty. So is Universe. Okay, these are definitely pressed pigments. These more shinier ones. And then these just have like a touch of shimmer to it. I'm gonna swatch those two just to see, just to see. Ooh. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use the shimmer and a pressed pigment. Sorry if you guys can hear my air conditioner. It's like literally right above me, but it's hot today and I have all my lights, so you're gonna have to bear with the air conditioning sound. <laughs> okay, found a clean brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Amethyst. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Okay, my camera died, so I finished up at this eye with that shade Amethyst. 
and I'm so sad you guys I don't even know how I did this right now but I totally just broke the mirror I'm having one of those days it's one of those days you guys moving on but this shade amethyst is so pretty let me do a little close-up I don't know why I'm not closer doing this eyeshadow look only thing I will say is that there is quite a bit of fallout I don't know if you can tell on my nose but what I do for that is I just take a damp beauty sponge and just pick it up okay and now I'm gonna take this color power it's a pressed pigment and put that over top of amethyst the shimmer is unreal you guys I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line I'm just going to take a little bit of fantasy and passion mixed together those are the two shades we use on our lid and just smoke out that bottom lash line and because I want to use another shimmer shade I'm going to take this shade magic and put that as my inner corner highlight okay I think that's too hard of a color for the inner corner highlight oh yeah this one's good this is called prosperity okay I'm actually going into prosperity and that shade magic that felt like butter and just adding to this inner corner highlight those two together oh my gosh oh my gosh so I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner and lashes and I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts on this palette okay you guys this is the final makeup look and I am pretty impressed with this palette I love the way this eyeshadow look turned out I didn't have big high expectations for this palette I don't know why maybe because I don't see a lot of people talk about peachy queen and I know she's always coming out with all these random ass palettes so I don't know I just thought it would be just not as great a quality than it really was or is it really reminds me of the Huda Beauty amethyst palette I'm pretty sure it's called amethyst I have it should I get it I should get it let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison of these colors so as you can tell the peachy queen is a lot bigger you get a lot more shades than the Huda Beauty one and they're around the same price Huda's 27 this one's 29 so if I was in the market to buy a purple eyeshadow palette I would probably go with the peachy queen because this one really impressed me you get 16 eyeshadows the pressed glitters are bomb like they're super buttery and really pigmented I did have fallout on my face but I feel like that happens with any shimmer shade I usually do my eyes before the rest of my makeup so fallout never really is a problem for me I just like wipe it away but I did have my makeup face makeup already done when I filmed this but I just take a damp beauty sponge and kind of just get all the loose glitter off of my face and it's not a big deal I can't wait to create more looks with this eyeshadow palette I feel like it's a really good palette if you guys were interested in getting it I hope this review helped you guys out I hope you liked this eyeshadow tutorial I just love to help you guys out that's what my channel is all about so if you have any questions whatsoever please leave me a comment down below and I will answer them the best that I can for you. If I take a little bit longer to reply to your comment and you need something answered right away because you don't know if you should buy this palette or not, make sure to go over to my Instagram. I'm active on there all the time. Throw me a DM and I'm always there to answer any questions you guys have. So this palette is definitely Laugh Love and Hippie approved. I loved it and I can't wait to use it again. I hope you guys have have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out hippies. Do I look a little shiny? If you guys watch my Amazon favorites, these blotting sheets were in it. I love these blotting sheets. I'm using brushes that I don't normally use because all my brushes are dirty AF. I'm so sad because of the mirror.